Happy Homebrew Wednesday, guys. I uh, hope you saw the intro there. Uh, the new swag for me. Uh, my good friend, uh, Karam Zenith, has uh, created some uh, some cool, very cool graphics for me. Uh, he even managed to uh, meet my uh, suggestions as to include a a tap, a glass of beer, and uh, a whiskey pot still. Yeah, <coughs> he even uh, managed to uh, get them together and uh, create the number 17. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, I didn't think it would turn out that well. Uh, I hoped it would be good. I, I, I sort of knew it would be good, but that just blew my mind. So, thank you very much, Corn Zenith. And uh, uh, I don't have a homebrew today. I'm saving a little bit of homebrew um, for some beer, more beer mail. And uh, so instead, I have a little curiosity that I think very few of you have tasted. This is a Norwegian stout. Um, it's called Cold Boy. Uh, it weighs in at 4.6 ABV. And I got it today in the store. Uh, so let's, uh, let's crack this, this Cold Boy open. Let's see what happens. Just a tiny hiss there. There's my tulip shaped nosing glass for a beer. And let's see if we can. All right, so there's a little left, but a nice tan head there. Yeah, good carbonation going on. Um, it's. Not entirely black. I don't know uh, how it turns out for you guys, but I can't see. I can't see too much. Uh, I can't see through it in this in this lighting condition, but still, uh, it's not entirely black. Uh, so let's get the aroma. Uh, I don't cut my hand over the beer because of a very simple reason. Um, uh, we ha uh, My wife gets those very uh, strong scented soaps for the bathroom so that always gets in the way for me. So that's why I'm holding the glass down low and nosing uh, without cupping. Yeah, that has um, a little caramelly uh, notes to it, and uh, some some chocolate and uh, some coffee. Very very low on the coffee on the, on the chocolate profile though. There's some coffee there, definitely. Uh, yeah, and some malt. Mm. It was a little surprising um, <laughs> to have such such a high profile of coffee and. And roasted malt gives from the aroma you can't be be uh, prepared for that one. Is the the aroma is almost faint. All of it is just faint. Maybe it's a little too cold yet. Yeah, doesn't have much of a body though. Um, as the mouth feel is uh, light to medium, carbonation is good, 
Mm, maybe a tad over carbonated for this style, or maybe maybe it's because it's a it's a lighter, it's a lower ABV for a stout. 4.6. The thing is that in Nor in Norway, in the in the regular shops and stores, the uh, limit is 4.7. There's no beers above that alcohol uh, percentage by volume, and uh, you need to go to to our specialty store to get the higher ABVs, and they are very expensive. So, for a allegedly Norwegian stout, this was. Uh, this was a nice experience. So, to round up, um, I have bottled my Imperial Double Australian Pale Ale. Um, it's sitting dark inside my cupboard, um, or the closet, sorry. Um, and uh, in here is about 22 degrees right now. So it's uh, carving up before I'm going to chill it down again. So, to let the sediment settle down. So I'm carving it, carving it up right now. Maybe I can set a, a small bottle, bottle for you to see. Maybe a, yeah, a clear one. So right now it's very cloudy. Uh, but it's going to be a pale ale. Uh, it's kind of orangey already. And you can see there's a little sediment at the bottom. There's a lot of hops in there because I dry hopped it with no hop bags or anything. And at the top, you can see it's starting to clear up a little bit. It's been sitting here since Sunday. And when I use these plastic PET bottles, I, I fill them up with a, with a bottle, bottling wand. I fill it up as so far as I can go. And then I pull it out. And then before I... I tighten the cap, I squeeze all the oxygen I can out of there, and then I tighten it up. So it's <clears throat> it's dented a little bit on the sides. So this one uh, is carving up nicely. It's starting to get a little hard uh, from Sunday. And um, yeah, so that that uh, helps a little bit in avoiding uh, diacetyl in, in my beer. So that's a little something I do to uh, yeah to avoid oxygen oxygenation there cheers so my plans now are to um, make a batch of cider uh, hopefully this weekend I have my fermenters uh, my fermenter ready I have two fermenters in what I call uh, a bottling bucket with a spout so um, so I use I use two fermenters uh, simultaneously at times, but then I have the the one with the spout for bottling. So it's a nice setup so far. So I'm gonna try um, some apple cider. I think I'm gonna start with that and see how that goes. I'm gonna use a kit also. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, what do you call it again? Uh, on the rocks, the on the on the rock series. Uh, so I'm gonna try that. Need to get my hand on some dextrose. Um, they used to sell them in the regular grocery shops here, but they they don't anymore at the at uh, reasonable prices. So I'm gonna get some from my internet uh, homebrew supply store. So see how that goes. So have a happy homebrew Wednesday, uh, all you guys. I'm looking forward to watching all you other guys' videos and. Um, yeah, take care, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. So, 17.